What's going on boys? We are in Dummy Gummy Battle Simulator, the brand new Tabs-esque battle simulator made by the creator of Home Wars, and we are going to be doing a defense of our castle against a huge zombie army. So let's line the city streets with some defenses and get it going. Alright, so I figure we ought to start with some metal barriers here. Just in the city streets, that'll hold them back a little bit. Uh, followed by a couple of turrets behind, which will supply some good, decent fire. Uh, between the turrets and those barriers, we do want to go ahead and have some uh, barbed wire, some barbed wire, and of course some stakes and things like that in between all of that as well. Uh, behind all of them, we just want some straight up posts, I think, and some high concrete barriers, uh, which should hopefully prevent zombies from sort of getting through that way super easily. We just want to slow them down, really. Uh, and then finally, way back here, we're going to have a bunch of sandbags for our survivors to defend on. So now let's get the boys in here. So uh, we're going to obviously want some riflemen. So let's go ahead and get some riflemen down this way. I think that'll be helpful. Um, then some riflemen on these sandbags too. We do have these jet assault troopers. So we'll put them behind the concrete so they can fly over. Uh, we've got hunters, which are, I think, kind of like snipers. So we'll put them in the back lines, the back back lines. And then we're going to want some tanks here. So uh, let's get two tanks, I'm thinking, so it's not too OP or anything like that. Uh, oh, and may maybe a couple cannons in here, too, on the second barricade. Finally, we are going to want some mines here. So we've got claymores that we can line up for the first wave of zombies, uh, and then we can also go ahead and establish a couple of mines there. So now we need to go ahead and put the zombie army on the field. There we go, boys. Hundreds of zombies on that there battlefield. Let's go ahead and start ourselves off here. So uh, we do have our riflemen firing away early, early on here. There are respawns available for the zombies, so they will have endless waves coming at us here, which could be rather rough. Okay, lots of shots going out into the zombies, not a lot of deaths. Hopefully these claymores can do something here. That would be helpful. There we go, okay, all right, it takes a lot to actually explode the claymores. <laughs> Alrighty then, uh, but we do seem to have some zombies going down to claymores, which is good. Those auto turrets also firing, and then we've also got mines behind. Uh, and the real defenses are back here behind these walls, which should be a lot more helpful, I'm thinking. Uh, but the zombie horde is really coming on extraordinarily strong here. Hopefully the Sherman tank can maybe cause some explosions. Yeah, we are thinning those lines. Good, good, good. Oh, the hunters have double barrel shotguns, actually, so maybe they are not so snipery as I thought. There should be a few reinforcements coming in the back here as well, and yes, there are. <laughs> the mines spawn in the back as well, which is kind of funny. Uh, so hopefully those reinforcements can sort of come forward and redo the lines a little bit more as well up front here, or else we are going to be in some serious trouble going forward because these zombies just keep on coming and they won't stop coming. Oh, this poor, poor rifleman out in the middle. He's getting swarmed. I'm really shocked he is not dead. Oh, there's not great zoom in this game yet. It needs to be a better zoom setting so you can... Like, yeah, what the heck? You can only get so close. Yeah, that's about as close as we can get, it seems, uh, to the actual zombies to see the battle happening, which is a little bit tough. Okay, so I just figured out you can actually make the UI disappear, which is pretty cool, by pressing M right there. Uh, so that's a little bit helpful for getting a little bit more cinematic. And then you can also got the control press C to make it all go in slow motion a little bit uh, which is kind of nice here we can really see the battle actually getting going not to mention you can go in there and actually take control of some boys if you like and you can even go into first person mode which is pretty cool uh, so here we're at uh, is this even firing it, <laughs> I can't tell if that's doing anything wait let's try a different one Let's try this point. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely firing. All right, and we can even zoom in a little bit here. A little bit. Eh! Kill the zomboys! Kill the zomboys! Okay, that's that's not working. That's, how about a tank? Can I take control of a tank? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, give me first person. All right. Fire in the hole! Oh, wait. I can press M, and yeah, we get the HUD back. Okay, now we can see the health and also when it's reloading and stuff like that and get a crosshairs. That's a lot better. Okay. 
Wow, look at all those zombies way back there. Holy cow. Alright, we're gonna snipe those guys. Oh, missed by a little bit. Okay, maybe there's not a lot of arc on this. So, wait, let's try again. There we go. What a shot into those boys. Holy smokes. Oh, my God. We're doing nasty, nasty things to them. Love to see that. Okay, let's get another shot in there. It's a little bit hard with the lag to aim. <laughs> there are a lot of zombies on this battlefield. A lot. Okay, there we go. We're getting some decent shots into there. But we'll let the tank do its thing a little bit. Do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. All right, let's check back here, though. Uh, and just check in on uh, our reinforcements. So, yeah, those mines respawn. Also, the barricades, funnily enough, respawn in the back. <laughs> they're, they're, like, treated like a unit almost when they die, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but, actually, the survivors can technically win this thing as long as they get into the zombie fortress, too. It's basically whoever takes over the fortress first. Um, and so, the zombies might actually lose this thing. As we can see here, the assaulters uh that are, are pushing forward a good bit with the guns here are actually making some gains against some zombies they're actually getting a good deal forward here which is causing some zombie turmoil here we go slow motion cap boom boom is this even firing oh we're reloading okay <laughs> how about now boom there we go okay now we can see now we can see baby all right just go into full speed uh. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> their, their first person is actually kind of nice. Uh, it's a little bit laggy with this many entities on the battlefield to do first person and stuff like that. Uh, but it, it it's a nicer first person than tabs because in tabs, it's just so glitchy, man. It's just so glitchy. So it is kind of refreshing to not have a super glitchy first person in this game. There we go. You can actually zoom in pretty decently uh, if you go in first person and then out of first person. You can, you can get a nice little zoom in there of the total battlefield, which is kind of nice to see. I do like that. Oh, and the slow motion is at 0.2 speed, so it's uh, one-fifth of the actual speed going on. Oh, there's one of those jet troopers going in. Yeah, go in, champ! Get her done! Get her done! <laughs> wow, look at all these zombies over here surrounding one poor hunter. Oh, that poor chap, he's definitely, he's definitely dead. He's definitely done so. Oh my god, Dunzo Washington. Um, well, the city is in havoc currently. Why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse here of the, the action on the city. It's really hard to reposition the camera. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's do a time lapse like this and we can watch the red zombies attacking the blue apocalypse defenders here and maybe get an idea of who's actually going to win this thing at the end. Alright boys, this sucker's been running for about 25 minutes now, uh, which is a long time, quite a while, and uh, basically, there, there's just no way I think that the, the modern faction can even hope to capture this area. I think it, it's just too hard. <laughs> the zombies just kind of have it on lock. Maybe we could try and, try and bring the tank in, try and help out that way, I suppose? All right, we brought the tank in with my Bugatti. Um, I'm not sure this is actually going to do all that much. We can see for sure. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's going to get kills. Definitely going to get kills, but there's... Oh, my God, it gets, it gets so laggy. It gets so laggy. Um, yeah, there just might be too many zombies over here, but uh, we'll... Let's see if the tank can do something. 
All right, boys, it's been another 20 minutes and we've gotten nowhere. I think there has to be a win condition where if they're like in the circle for a certain amount of time, even with other enemies alive, they can still win. That might make some sense. I'm not entirely sure, but that's going to be the end of the video today. Let me know if you want to see more gummy dummy battles in the future. They're pretty fun. I enjoy them. Either way, guys, I will see you on the next one. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.